Well, welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom Tips and Tricks. If you remember on the overworld map, there's a little coastal area that has a geoglyph of a dagger on it. If you go to that section of the depths, there is actually a structure there. Um, and then the rest of the, the, um, the peninsula is actually underwater. That's not a problem, though, because they give you tons of Zonai devices you can use here to make a boat. What you're going to want to do is make a boat and then start traversing, traversing that watery spot. Because it's going to get you something cool. All right, so you're going to take your steering stick, and if you have a sled with you, you should use that. Um, that can be the, the, the hull of your boat. And you're going to make this device and then go down along the water. I suggest putting a light on the front so you can see. Just a little helpful hint. All right, once you have your boat, hop in the water, and then just head down this narrow strip. And at the very end, you'll find a treasure chest with a unique armor item in it. As you can see on my mini-map, I did use the map and the overworld to uh, get a um, a marker for where I needed to head to, so I knew where to go if I didn't have the light route for that area yet. Um, and then once you get past that little Octorok there, here you are at a place with a treasure chest. Go ahead and walk up and open it, and you will find the Trousers of Wind. This is the Wind Waker outfit, the legs for the Wind Waker outfit. Um, so yeah, there you go. There's a free set of armor for you, and we'll see you next time.